Well, it's not every day you get to spectate your own race. What's going on guys? Welcome to another edition of Alan Tries to Ride Bikes Good and sometimes kind of does that. Title is work in progress. So I just finished setting up camp here. We're at the North Mills River Campground back in Asheville for another one. This time we're doing the Belgian Waffle Ride, Asheville edition, not California, San Diego, which is probably the more popular one. Uh, this is the first year that they're doing the Asheville edition. It was supposed to be last year, but due to COVID, uh, they had to kind of cancel that. And then it was supposed to be earlier this year and then they moved it to August. So here we are. I just finished setting up camp. As you can see, a nice little pad here. Tent, pop-up tent. Let me tell you, that canopy is not easy to put up by yourself. It's a bigger, I think 12 by 12 footer. I almost did a time lapse of me setting up camp, but I'm glad I didn't because I'm pretty sure just the time lapse would have taken up this whole video. Got the bikes, gravel bike for tomorrow, and then I brought the mountain bike just in case I get a chance to do some trail riding while I'm here since we are staying through Sunday. Anyway, all right, check in. Uh, I think we're going back to the expo, Belgian Waffle Ride Expo tonight, so check that out. They're supposed to have a a crit and what's the other thing oh some kind of vip meeting they're going to go over the course details and uh, the different segments that are throughout the course and all that so till then good morning everybody it is 5 20 getting coffee situated we're doing the Medagliadoro Instant Espresso. Got the, uh, okay, let me see. Jet boil running over here. Should have some boiling water soon. Gonna get dressed and try to get over there around 6.30 or so. Ooh. We're boiling. So we're off to a good start. Website said it starts at 7.30. Apparently it's at 7. And it is 6.59. Hi. Hi, man. You missed Hi. the start. I know. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. The ride is all the wrong way. Where are you coming from? Deep South Alabama. Oh, well, yeah, right? San Diego. All right, so it looks like I'm starting with the wafer crowd. Riders, have a wonderful experience. I'm going to count you down. I'll look at our lead photo here. Looks like we're good to go, Brent. Good job, everybody. Smooth rolling out. Right on. Good energy. Cool jersey, too, guys. Nice work across the board. catch up to my race. Uh, there's a reason people joke about me being late all the time.
live on this gravel road. Ooh. This is freaking sick. Like fenced in boat docks on the deck. Look at all that. Just went through A Station 1, a little over an hour in, and back up more road. dark. <laughs> Glad there's no potholes in there. Appreciate it. Welcome. Alright, just went through aid station two. Still feeling pretty good. Got some gravel here. I think this is just a little lollipop. And then aid station two becomes aid station three on the way back. Alright. Just went through aid three. So we're at a little over 40 miles in. I had to uh, shed a little bit of weight for the upcoming climb if you know what I mean we had to drop some uh, Blue Ridge pizza off at the Porta not Papa John if you know what I mean my poo hour to weight ratio has increased if you know what I mean all right I'm done road all the way to South Carolina Well, you can tell we're in South Carolina. This road's worse than the gravel. This is very similar to some of the ones we do in Virginia. Oh, yeah. I do have a little Florida. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. <laughs> All right, this went through aid five, I believe. Now apparently this is gonna be a ripping gravel descent. As long as it's downhill, I'm happy. Because I am starting to hurt a little bit. went through the sixth and final aid station. So about 15 or so miles left at this point. Got some climbing to do still. And my stomach does not feel good. Neither is anything else, but that's probably the worst part. I don't know if you can tell how steep this is on camera. But I'm standing 
in third gear. And going two miles an hour, if that. Wow. They really like to lay it on at the end. top of that. Hopefully this is the last downhill and then the last little ride back into the park. It is now a few days later after the race. I'm back home, no longer in Asheville, and just wanted to kind of give a little recap on the race since it basically started raining right after that last clip on the downhill and then the uh, ending of the race kind of snuck up on me kind of cutting in a back way and taking like almost like a trail through the woods and then cutting in and going through the, the banner there at the end. Didn't get to film any of it and like I said it was raining so it wouldn't have been great anyway. Felt good after aid station six. I was able to roll that last steep uphill that I had on the video there. It was uh, the Strava segment said like 10% average grade but I'm pretty sure some of those pitches were upwards of 15 because like I said I was standing in like first and second and third gear and just barely even able to move at all so it was it was pretty wild back of the pack challenge i surprisingly did not make it all the way back for the win uh you know ian boswell was there so just he kind of just uh tacked it on that last climb and that was it so next race is two weeks shenandoah mountain 100 kind of my a race most important race of the year. Uh, I've done that one the past five years. This is my sixth 100 mile mountain bike race. So hopefully this will be kind of a last final big training ride for that and uh, carry some fitness into that one and hoping to beat my previous best time on that. Until next time, thanks for watching.